Okay, we're going to tie a, sh a shrimp fly. See these little babies? Crab and shrimp eyes. They come on a little piece of monofilament. Hold those up again for me, sorry, Jay. Very cool. See that? Those are EP, Enrico. These are EP. Now, Hairline makes one also. It's a little bit more oblong. They're both great. I just happen to have these. It's a TMC saltwater safe hook. So, you know, I got, I got to thinking about these, and I'm sure somebody else has done this as well. But I got to thinking about this type of fly when I noticed catching salmon Chinook in Elk Estuary that had shrimp in their bellies. Isn't that amazing? Gray shrimp. So I decided what the heck. So we're going to... This is a fly you, you probably won't see this kind of fly very many places. Take some gray bucktail. Don't need a whole lot of it. Just a little pinch here and there. There we go. So, we're going to throw that bucktail on right over the center of those eyes. And we're going to give this a little bit of UV gray crystal flash. Because those shrimp, they're, they're shiny little guys. This is not a heavily weighted fly. A lot of times when you're fishing salmon in estuaries, the water is not very deep. So, so we're going to do something. Watch this. I'm coming in behind those eyes. Whoa, look at that. That's cool. So now we gotta we gotta put on some make it look buggy. Give it some feelers of some sort. So let's take a grizzly saddle tackle. And you're looking for something webby. Not too big, not too small. And we're gonna try to wind this on here right next to those eyes. Remember when we tied some reverse spiders for sea run cutthroat? Well, this is, we're going to do something similar with this hackle. The idea is to have these hackle fibers pointing back over the tail. There we go. Now, my body material. It's a, I think it's called Airline Plus. It's got, it's a, it's a rabbit dubbing. It's got some gray in it. Um, I like to add little bits of ice dub and a little bit of sparkly stuff to it. There's several Airline products that do the job quite nicely. I think this would be a great bonefish fly so far oh, from what yeah. I see. Maybe pink or tan, UV tan, well, tie it I, the same way. Yes, be... and, and I, I do this for the elk estuary in pink and tan and a black and orange also. This is the one that is most like the natural. So, fairly simple pattern. Very clean, very buggy. Take a look at that. Let me pull it out of there. Those little, see those little black eyes hiding in the back there? See this thing? It's a hot fly. Remember it. But don't tell anybody.